We're finally in Talador. I, I just flew like two minutes to get here, but you already know what's going on. Uh, gonna farm chests, farm bonus objectives. Oh, wait. Apexis crystal. Isn't this like a... Not sure I should actually grab this. Not it should have. It's probably in the fucking thing. No, no. Not worth it. It's not worth it. I've made up my mind. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna go fly around, do all this fucking bonus objective shit, and then, uh, see what level we end at, so... I'm betting we'll get close to level 100. Uh, maybe not. I thought I had more experience in the bar. We'll, we'll definitely get some levels here. That's all I gotta say. I gotta find this shit. I always have trouble finding this one objective. Either inside of the cave down there. Looked it up before, too. I think it's in the cave. Okay. At least that is. Don't know where the other one is. Wow, you have a lot of health. 30,000 health. Dude. That's, uh... Yeah, you have a shit ton of health. He's not even a rare either. He's just like a random fucking mob. Random mob with as much health as... Maybe he'll, like, die. Just from drunkness. Or, you know, maybe he stays stunned the entire time. Well then. Fun, fun fight. It's not even fighting back. They should just make every raid like this. One of these days, I swear. There we go. I'm actually going to switch this out if I do have new... Better, yeah. Okay, 60,000 XP. I won't argue with that one. Now we have to find that fucking fishing line. And I always struggle with it. Every time. Every time I've done this leveling part, this is like, the fishing line always gets me. Because you can barely fucking see it. There it is. There it is. Tackle box. Boy. Okay. The question is, what do we do now? Do we do the bonus objectives? One bonus objective gives so much gold. So many chests. And they're each giving 60,000 XP. That's so much of my... <laughs> that is so much of my XP. Beautiful. And then... That's, that's why I play Horde right there. We grab that. Another 30k. I guess we'll do this one bonus objective. What do I need? Lumber and I need to kill Iron Shredders. Well, alright. Shouldn't be... too long. I figured I'd just go to Talador instead of uh, Shadow Moon Valley, because Shadow Moon Valley is just farther to fly away, and this is the zone next to it. And I've done this zone bonus objective-wise before, so... I kind of know what I'm doing. Not as Alliance, of course. I've always done the bonus objectives as Horde, but can't be much different. It's pretty much the exact same. Say the big problem here is just finding the stacks of lumber. And again, finding sometimes finding the shredders is actually kind of a pain in the ass. Like, if there's other people doing this bonus objective, it kind of... Sometimes. Very rarely anymore, but... In the past, when I used to level, sometimes these shredders would be hard to come by. I'll pull. I shouldn't. The zone's definitely not as good as Gorgron. Gorgron's by far the, just the best leveling zone. Like, XP. XP per play time-wise. By far the best zone. Times like these, I really wish I had Inquisition. I also, I don't know, I guess I'll 
Ooh, remember when we had to farm lumber? I was wondering why I could interact with the tree. I was like, that's weird. And then I remembered the good old Warlord's Draenor. I think you ran around and farmed trees for war resources. I could be wrong. It seems so far, like so far in the past. By the way, Warlord's PvP was better than PFA PvP. Just because of corruption. Corruption really makes me sad. But that's a different story. No, it's not. Okay. Barely need any more lumber. Give me that sweet level. Please. Ooh, nice. If we get a three in the next stack, I'll just nut. Big nut. Okay, one, two. If we're lucky... Fuck. Alright, whatever. I notice a thing. He's 205,000 experience. Also known as, I believe, a third. Oh no, sorry. A half of my level for one bonus objective. Feels good. I actually do love this, the, the buff we have. Winds of Wisdom, so nice. Thank you, Blizz. I'm not sure. I don't know. if Because what I've seen online, somewhat, of like what I've researched into leveling in Shadowlands is that it's pretty fast if you really want it to be. Uh, there's a guy that hit... It was either 1 to 60 or 1 to 50 in like 5 hours. Less freedom. Suck my dick. Oh, I love you, freedom, so much. And now I get slowed. I don't think I've ever gotten this one. Just never cared enough to actually go into the cave that slows you by 90%. Then we pick up this shell, and we should level up. Level, there we go. Well, we got a level in seven minutes. <laughs> uh, feels good. We, we can go to Legion now. Um, however, I'm probably just going to stay in Warlords because of the XP it gives us pretty crazy. I, I do think it's actually better than Legion until level 100. And then that's when the XP kind of gets cut off. That's for another time. As long as I still get 30k XP. Yeah. So we're staying here for another level, and then we'll probably stay here from 99 to 100 as well. This one kind of trips me up sometimes. Other 30k. We did miss one treasure up there, but I don't think I'm going to grab it. There's also a cave I have to go into for that treasure itself, but I'm not going to do that either. We do have to find the correct nest here. That is kind of the next bonus objective slash rare thing. Just gotta find the nest with a bird in it. Be too hard either. I'm not even sure if it actually gives XP. At least this collect one. Come on, there we go. Okay, that's what I thought. No XP. Feels bad. At least we have, uh, we already have. Yeah. So that was pointless. But that's okay. I believe this is another bonus objective here. I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain it is. So you can search the body and just not get anything interesting. It is a bonus objective. I knew. I knew I was on to something. Another 30k. This one's like over here. I... Okay. Let's see what this bonus objective is. Uh, oh yeah, that's really fucking easy. Alright, we're definitely doing that. Also just a sword here as well. Come here, frenzied ancient. Actually, I'm gonna calm these guys down first. Because I don't think I have to dismount for this. Very nice. 
honestly kind of want a tarot claw. Those are some of the best looking, like, beast models. But I'm trying to think of what bird I have right now. I think I just have a fucking crow. I think Seagull's the best. If Seagull had healing reduction, which I don't think it does. If it does, let me know, chat. But if Seagull had healing reduction, that'd be my all-time favorite pet. Favorite hunter pet. Of course, with Beast Mastery, it's Lopnahawk. Just... Just the best designed pet, to be honest. In all the expansions that have come out, still, Lopnahawk. By far the best. They have yet to put something that even rivals it in the game. In my opinion. I'm trying to think of, like, actual cool spirit. I guess they put the Raptor. Because I do use the Raptor in the Raptor skin that I have. I think his name's, like, Gronk or some shit. I don't fucking know. The Raptor Spirit Beast is what I'm talking about, but... The Raptor pet that I have in all of my BM Hunter videos. I think it does look really cool, but it doesn't compete with Loke. It is the best looking Raptor Spirit Beast. I I'd say it's second best. Then behind the Raptor Spirit Beast that I have is like Skull. Skull's pretty nice. I did have Loke Nahawk one time on a different account, I think. Back when I had two accounts. I had my old account, same difference. Oh my, ooh, my inventory's full. Uh, can't believe my inventory's full. Well, time to empty out the good old, good old inventory. Hope I'm not deleting important stuff here. We're just clicking on all of it. Don't care what it is. If it's a heirloom, I'll probably just not delete it i don't know there we go problem solved may your days be long and your Man. hardships few. don't tell me what to do drain i that's a weird trinket 560 admiral versatility and bonus armor that'd be broke for twinking this is like such a small <laughs> such a small treasure to click on but i guess it works five verse 35 versed Surprisingly, we're pretty much done with the zone already. We're about halfway done. Two more treasures will level up. Calming music in this zone. Maybe that's why I felt so bored playing Warlords. The music just made me sleep. Didn't get shit from that. Very nice. Even sell for anything. Light bearer. Okay, 100 gold. We're getting that easy money. There we go. I wonder if I'll get attacked over here. I think it's on... Oh no. Okay, good. I thought some of these guys would be hostile. As a certain faction, but... Where is this fucking... Maybe those Drain Eye weapons. The Blood Elf weapons are obviously better. 100 garrison resources. I wish there was a point to garrisons, you, but there's not. No demon will set foot in Akindun on my watch. Apparently, this was supposed to be a raid. Then it turned into a pretty shitty dungeon that I don't even remember. Would have been a cool raid though, Draenei raid. I love killing goats. Who these shitty bonus objectives are? Uh, that's underneath something. This one might be worth it. I think it is. I think I've done that one before on other characters. And then we'll probably finish up by just going along, picking up all the treasures. And then I think we might honestly do. If we don't level up after doing the bonus objective and all the other objectives over here, we will definitely do uh, the other zone. God, this chest seems barely out of the way. Two eighty flying would just be so nice right now, but I'm retarded and don't have two eighty flying. I'm guessing this is at the very top as they always are. Or where are you at though? Put in iron box. All right, it must be inside. Are they elites? No. Good.
Fucking pulled him. That's a really good axe for some reason. 17 item level. Upgrade. Why is mine so low? That's plus 17. What the fuck? Then we go. You wish to see the power of the Empire first hand. Oh god. Little one. Oh god, stop. So be it. Stop. I could use some entertainment. Why are so loud compared to everything else in the game? I think this is actually Spires over here. Uh, am I supposed to be in a cave or something? Like, what the f- Oh, that's not good. I feel like I'm supposed to be in a cave. Yeah, this is all in a cave. How did I miss this? How is it worth it? God, the, the treasures are so good, though. But it's definitely in a cave. I don't know how large the cave is. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna do that. It, it, it seems worth it, but just the time to walk through the cave, I don't think, makes it makes it not worth. Meanwhile, there's a bonus objective where I just have to kill six things and then seal four portals, and it gives me half a level. So in other words, three minutes for half a level. I hope you know which one sounds way more appealing. God, if you made Blizzard, please make Shattered Hand orcs a thing. Or just like gray-skinned orcs. So fucking cool. I want to be Doomhand with all of my heart. Is that, was that what he, he's even called? Doomhand? Doomhammer? Blackhand, that's the one. Uh, what can I say? I'm a lore fanatic. I know everything about World of Warcraft lore. Ideally, want to avoid the void spawned ones, but you can't. Re can't really do it all. Can't be too ideal. I need one more and a few more Shattered Hand Grunts. Five of them. Very nice. Here's one. The freedom myself to pull this guy with judgment. That sucks. It only hit one of them there. Wake of Ashes hits decently hard. Hits about as hard as the Templars at our at pretty much all levels it hits as hard as the Templars. Will the chicken die though? I'll just pop cool then too. Then I need one more grunt. As in the one that just walked by. Pretended like he could get away with it. Come here, bud. Will the crow go on me? Okay, good. He actually immune. That's pretty nice. Oh, we didn't pull either. That's super nice. Incoming level. I'm kidding. Probably not gonna level, but... Incoming tons of experience. Still in combat. Feels bad. Oh, just kidding. We did pull him. <laughs> he just ran away in fear after we killed the two. Two orcs. And then he came back. Holy shit, there's another person. Doesn't have flying, though. That's a... It's a little awkward, man. Should have flying. Maybe he's just choosing not to fly. I shouldn't be judging. I really hope this is just... Don't tell me it's in here. Uh, definitely. We'll go in if we have to. Uh, why do you have so much health, lady? What the fuck? <laughs> this is the same health as the drunk guy. Except you actually do damage. Please proc my shield of vengeance so your health goes away. 4,000 damage. Not horrible. Not a horrible. Bounce. 
It's Demonic Blast. That'd be a cool demonology ability. It's like an AoE Death and Decay. And then if like... That'd actually be really cool. Like have an AoE Death and Decay as a demonology warlock. And then make it so if there's like three or more people in it that you summon imps for every person standing in it. That'd be so cool, Blizzard. Please hire me. Please hire me. I'll make your game good. I'll make it playable again. I'll remove corruption. Introduce PvP vendors because you totally didn't take that idea from suggestion from me. Definitely didn't happen, especially the part where I was like, oh, just make PvP items be able to be upgraded like you did the Nashitar zone. I really hope they actually listened to me, and that's where they got it from. It was probably just some guy sitting in the back of Blizzard saying, hey, this is way better than what's right now. And everyone was like, yeah, well, what, what are we doing? And then that that's how the... that Fun fact, 100% true, that's how the PvP changes happened for Shadowlands box that I'm supposed to lose. Yuri's gift. Did like under something? Should be clickable. And there's nothing clickable. On. That's awkward. Maybe it's phased, I don't know. We need five more treasures. I think we can do. I know one of these... I'm not sure if both of them give quests, or if only one of them. Welcome, welcome. I'm not gonna talk to you. I'll talk to Draenei. Where's this farm? Okay, Farmer's Bounty. 30k XP. Yeah, this is... A going to be pretty close. As long as all of these give experience, I'll level up. If uh, if they don't, then I'll be really fucking close to level 100. I might grind out level 100 in Talador, depending on if the experience gets reduced or not. Not Talador. Uh, Spires of Iraq. That's the one. The one with the flaming birds and stuff. Fuck, did I really just come back to... <laughs> I really just came back to the same fucking shit. God, now I have to find it. My dismount or something. Okay. I'm fully lost now. And I give up. Fuck that. I'll go get this rock instead. Better than half these alliance players at least. I need to stop trash talking alliance players if I ever want to find a fucking LFG group. Or half viewers carry me. I'm sorry if you're Alliance and you watch me. I just like shit-talking Alliance because who else am I supposed to shit-talk, really? I'm not gonna shit-talk my main faction because that's just nonsense. By the way, I am leveling this guy. This is literally just gonna be my Alliance main for, I guess, Shadowlands too. I'll probably level my Demon Hunter or whatever I want to level on the Horde server and then I'll level this guy. So it'll be nice having an Alliance character to play, you know, with Alliance people for once. Your spawns from the corpse of Viper Lash. Well, what? <laughs> what? Okay, I'm guessing. Oh, hey. And that's an elite. You want to. Let's go. I go. Do it, man. Me and you. Fuck it. Oh, he does have a lot of health. Okay. If he's not doing it, then I'm sure, surely not doing it. Maybe he already did it. Maybe he didn't do it. Who knows? All I know is I can't be bothered with the mob with 80k health. 80k health, far too much. Let me in. God. You guys have quite a bit of health. 17,000. Why is their health pool so abnormally large? I'm gonna use cooldowns here. I guess that's pretty much the last treasure that I need to grab. There is one more treasure, but other than that, we are we are donezo. We are donezo with the zone. No combat, thank you. We're seriously just one treasure off. Oh, that makes me so sad. Whatever. Whatever, chat. We're almost level 100. It doesn't matter.
inside a cave. Well, I'm not doing that one. <laughs> so we're done with this zone. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe, comment, uh, check out Twitch, check out Twitter, all of that jazz. In the next leveling video, I'm thinking we're just going to go to Spire's see how many of these chests we can pick up and how many bonus objectives we can do until we out-level the experience in that zone. And then we'll go on to Legion, and then we'll go to BFA, and then we'll be max level, so it's not going to be much longer. Um, I will be doing Mythics and Arena on this guy with the Lion Splayer, so yeah. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Until next time, guys. Take it easy.